Hiya, tiny explorers. I'm Pebo, your friendly jungle dino narrator. Here to take you on a roaring, stomping, earth-shaking adventure through time. Today, we're diving into one of the greatest mysteries of all time. Why did dinosaurs disappear? Oh yes, they were here one minute, ruling the world like giant, scaly kings and queens, with tails swishing and teeth gleaming. And then poof, they were gone. I'm going to tell you their story from way back when, so let's take a dino-sized step into the past and see what happened. Millions and millions and millions of years ago, Earth was a completely different place. There were no cities, no schools, no playgrounds, and definitely no internet. Instead, the world was filled with bubbling volcanoes, thick, leafy jungles, crashing ocean waves, and dinosaurs everywhere you turned. It was like the biggest, wildest jungle party you could ever imagine. Some dinosaurs were as tall as the tallest trees, like the Brachiosaurus, who stretched their long, graceful necks up to munch leaves from the treetops, just like they were at an all-you-can-eat salad bar. Others were super speedy, like the Velociraptors, who zoomed through the ferns faster than your fastest remote control car, zip, zap, zoom. And then there was the mighty Tyrannosaurus Rex, the king of drama, with his huge, chompy teeth, tiny little arms, and a big, bossy attitude that said, I'm in charge here. Did you know some dinosaurs had feathers? Oh yes. Scientists think some of them looked like giant chickens with extra swagger. Imagine a velociraptor strutting around with fluffy feathers like a rock star. Others had tough, armor-like plates on their backs, like the Stegosaurus, whose plates looked like giant kite shields. And then there were dinosaurs like the Ankylosaurus, who had clubbed tails that could swing and whack like a baseball bat. Pow! Those tails were perfect for saying, back off, buddy, to any troublemakers. And the names of these dinosaurs? They're so funny and tricky to say. There's one called Micropachycephalosaurus. Try saying that five times fast. It's like a tongue twister challenge. There was even a dinosaur named Irritator, which sounds like he might have been a bit grumpy. Maybe he didn't get invited to the Dino dance parties because he was always frowning. Back in those days, the Earth's continents weren't shaped like they are today. They were all squished together into one giant land blob called Pangaea. Picture all the countries in the world being roommates in one enormous jungle house, sharing space and snacks. Dinosaurs roamed everywhere, through squishy swamps, sandy deserts, shady forests, and even along the rocky shores of ancient oceans. Some dinosaurs took to the skies, like the Pteranodon, a flying reptile with wings so wide they could glide over bubbling volcanoes, swooping down to catch a breeze. Down in the water, the Mosasaurus ruled the seas, snapping up fish with its sharp teeth as if they were popcorn at a movie night. The oceans were full of creatures that looked like a mix between dolphins and crocodiles, with long snouts and flippers swimming through the waves like underwater dragons. Dinosaurs came in all shapes and sizes. Some were as long as three school buses parked end to end. Imagine that parked in your schoolyard. Others were so tiny they could have fit in your backpack. Well, maybe a really big backpack for school supplies. There were even little dinosaurs, like the Conxognathus, scurrying through the jungle underbrush like speedy squirrels, darting this way and that to avoid bigger dinos. 
Every day, herds of plant-eating dinosaurs traveled together in great, earth-shaking stampedes, searching for the juiciest leaves and ferns to munch on. It was like a dinosaur parade, with no balloons but lots of rumbling footsteps. The Triceratops marched along with their three horns shining in the sunlight, while the Diplodocus swung their long tails like giant whips to keep the herd in line. The jungles were buzzing with life back then. Brightly colored insects buzzed around, some as big as your hand, while early birds flapped between the trees, chirping songs that echoed through the ferns. The air smelled like wet leaves and warm earth, and every now and then, a volcano would grumble in the distance, puffing out clouds of ash that made the sky glow orange. What went wrong? Now, let's get to the serious part of the story. About 66 million years ago, something absolutely gigantic happened. A huge rock from outer space, a meteor, came hurtling toward Earth and crashed near what we now call Mexico. This wasn't just a little pebble you'd find in your backyard, it was about six miles wide, bigger than a whole city. When it hit, it sent shockwaves across the land, making giant waves in the oceans that splashed as high as mountains. Forests caught fire, sending up plumes of smoke, and the sky filled with so much dust that the sun disappeared behind a thick, gray blanket. Without sunlight, the plants couldn't grow, and without plants, the plant-eating dinosaurs had nothing to eat. And without plant eaters, the meat eaters like T-Rex went hungry too. It was a tough time for everyone. But that's not the only idea about what happened. Some scientists think there were also massive volcanic eruptions happening at the same time, spewing out lava and ash that changed the weather all over the world. The air got colder, and the climate shifted in ways the dinosaurs weren't used to. Others say rising sea levels flooded their homes, and megastorms swept through the jungles, making life even harder. Life after Dinos After the dinosaurs vanished, the world started to change. Little mammals, like mouse-like critters who'd been hiding in burrows, poked their heads out and said, Is it safe now? Over time, these tiny creatures grew into monkeys, then apes, and eventually, humans. And now here we are, talking about dinos while wearing socks with tacos on them. Birds as dino descendants. But here's the coolest secret. Not all dinosaurs disappeared. Some of them changed, evolved, and became birds. That's right, those chirpy pigeons in your neighborhood might be tiny cousins of the velociraptor. Even chickens. So the next time you see one scratching the dirt, imagine it with razor-sharp claws and a dramatic soundtrack. Birds are like the last chapter of the dinosaur story, still flying around, making nests, and stealing fries at the beach. I heard about a place called the Jungle Museum of Ancient Things, JMAT for short, where the story of the dinosaurs was on full display. Skeletons taller than treetops stood proudly, alongside fossilized dino eggs the size of watermelons. A parrot paleontologist named Dr. Biko was there, squawking wisely as she pointed to a fossil with her wing, as if saying, this was my great-great-great-uncle Clawface. In the gift shop, visitors picked up Dino Tooth keychains, glow-in-the-dark fossil posters, and books like Dino Facts to Make You Roar. There were even fossil-shaped cookies that crumbled like ancient sediment, yum, the word dinosaur means terrible lizard, but not all of them were scary. Some dinos had 32 teeth in one row. Imagine brushing those every night. 
The Stegosaurus had a brain the size of a walnut, but it still knew how to party. Triceratops had three horns, perfect for a headbutt dance battle. There's a dinosaur named Dracorex Hogwartsia, inspired by Harry Potter. Some dinosaur tails were for balance, while others were like Dino Whips for defense. Scientists are still finding new dinosaur species. How exciting is that? Dinosaurs lived during the Mesozoic era, split into three periods, Triassic, Jurassic, and Cretaceous. Some dinos might have sung to each other, well, more like bellowed or growled. Dino karaoke night, anyone? Fossils have been found on every continent, even Antarctica. It might have been the meteor, or volcanoes, or a mix of everything. But even though they're gone, the dinosaurs left behind bones, fossils, and a legacy that still makes kids go WHOA. Their story lives on in the birds flying above us, in the fossils we uncover, and in the dreams we share. They stomp through history, leaving footprints we still follow today. So, what can we learn from the tale of the mighty dinosaurs? Always be curious. Ask questions, dig deeper, and explore like little scientists. Respect nature, it's wild, wonderful, and sometimes unpredictable. Learn from the past to understand the future. Think big. Even the tiniest Dino left behind a massive story. Use your imagination, it's your most powerful tool. Stay brave, stay bold, and never stop asking, why? Thanks for joining me on this prehistoric adventure, Little Explorers. Until next.